What's up, bros? Now here we have the completed mock, which is a vulture mock. Now there are a couple things to talk about, so let's get down to business. First up, here we can take a good look at the custom vulture minifigure that I made. The legs of this custom minifigure are from Gamora, the torso is from like a random crook with some dark green arms and some dark brown hands, and the most interesting part about this custom is the helmet of course. We have this breathing piece and we have this Nexo Knights tech infected goon headpiece. Pop that on right there, pop that back onto the torso, and then we have this Ninja Hood mask, which is from the Scuba Cole minifigure from Ninjago Seabound. Pop that on, it snaps on perfectly and matches the breathing piece right here, so it actually looks like a pretty dope vulture helmet. And I also decided to make these custom boot claw pieces to act like vulture's claws. You can attach one on each leg of the minifigure as you can see here and it does kind of look weird and you can actually bend them a bit so you can like pose the legs of the minifigure if we bend it like that then we can place it on a flat surface and as you can see here the minifigure will not fall over unless you move it of course. And now that we got the extra stuff out of the way we can take a look at the main event the Vulture Wings mock that I made. Now, these wings are pretty interesting. Now, a lot of people have made Vulture custom mock wings in the past. I wanted to be simple and make a Vulture wing that just about anybody can make. I didn't use any special parts or anything. Well, this is the only special part I use. This piece is from like a Spinjitsu spinner piece from Ninjago. You don't need to use that if you want to build this Vulture wing mock yourself. Now for the first feature of this mock, I decided to make it so that the wings can actually open and close as you can see here. So you can actually open them, close them, just in case Vulture needs to grab his prey. You can take a random minifigure right here and you can just like place it right there and you can actually bend this piece so it actually can hold on to the minifigure and you can actually hold on to a minifigure well back there you can but if you actually try you can actually make vulture hold on to a minifigure with the wings as you can see here and you can easily bend the wings as you can see here you can easily flip them out and move them around you don't just have to move these right here you can actually bend them back and forth, back and forth, not just up and down, back and forth as well. This entire piece can be flipped around and so can this piece as well. And right here we have a thruster and we have another one. We have one on each side and both wing pieces are connected to this black piece right here so you can attach this entire vulture wing piece to a minifigure. We have some extra thrusters on each side right here and as you can see here attaching the vulture wings to a minifigure is a pretty easy process we can pop the head of the minifigure back on and vulture is now ready for combat we can flip the wings out and he can fly around and if he wants to land on the ground you can pose the legs using these custom boots that I made and bend the wings arm and you can bend them like this if Vulture wants to protect himself from gunshots or anything. And I don't really think I need to explain anything else. I think these Vulture wings turned out pretty good. Tell me in the comments below if you're gonna make this yourself using the speed build tutorial I added at the start of the video. Hope you rose enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out my other videos I mostly make mocks and of course custom minifigures. Have a great day. See ya, bros.